So what's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome yourselves back to another Zombies video on the channel, back again with another Q&A where, you know what we do, we take your questions from the comment section below to do with your zombie storyline, easter eggs and answer them. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like rating if you want to, make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest Zombies content on the channel, and without out of the way, let's get into it. Here we go. So the first question of today is from Randy Deus, and this person says, will there be a point saving system in Black Ops 4? So I was actually wondering this a couple of days ago. If you remember in maps like Buried and also in Transit as well, if I'm right in thinking this, I don't believe it was in Dire Eyes. And by the way, this was only in Black Ops 2 Zombies. There was a points saving system. If you don't know what I mean by this, well, in these maps, there was like a banking system where you could put your extra points in that you don't have. Let's say you have 50,000 points left over. You've brought all of the guns you want, all of the perks. There's literally nothing else to buy in game. And so what they did in Black Ops 2 was instead of just, you know, building up more and more points and then never using them, you could actually put them into the banking system in that game. And then whenever you went to play that map again, you could just simply go to the bank, withdraw all of those points that you put in from the previous game, and you could have like 20, 30,000 points on round two or three. And it was actually very useful. Whenever I just wanted to get gameplay, get some good guns straight away without having to, you know, go through the tedious process of saving up points to open doors and then buy everything. If I just wanted to have a good fun game, I just went to the bank, withdrew some points, and I could buy the best weapon straight away, Juggernaut. I could open up all of the map by like round four or five, whereas usually it might take round 10 to 15. I know a lot of people actually didn't like the banking system, but personally, of course, it is a choice, and I really thought it was cool. Like I said, it was only in Buried in Transit, but I would have liked to have seen it return in Black Ops 3, which it didn't. So the question is, will it return in Black Ops 4? Honestly, I don't know. I kind of hope it does, because like I said, it's just easier to play when you don't want the hassle of grinding through the rounds, doing the same thing over and over again just to get points to do things. The banking system, just makes everything a lot easier and like I said you don't have to use it if you don't want to the challenge is still there but I definitely think it's a good choice to have in the game the next question from Banboy Steven says hey BOA what is your favorite wonder weapon between all of black ops zombies a lot of people ask me this and I think over the times I have answered it before my answer has probably changed it just depends on how I'm feeling on the day but usually I think it revolves between the thunder gun the wonder Waffer, and the soliquifier pre-patch I think those weapons were my favorite the slick Fire was really, really fun to use when Dire Eyes first came out, and it was one hell of a wonder weapon that was until it got patched and then it wasn't so good. And even though I don't think Dire Rise was too good of a map, the Soliquifier for me kept it fun, so that's definitely gotta be up there. But then like I said, there's the Thunder Gun, which is a classic, and I think is one of the most powerful weapons that we've ever had. We've had it in a few maps like Kino and Ascension, and a lot of people were asking for it to be remastered and for that weapon to return, and which it did in Revelations, and everyone was happy. So again, the Thunder Gun's gotta be there. And then finally, the Wonder Waffer, not one of the most powerful weapons. I I definitely don't think it was the best but it was perfect for the map that it was in which was Darice and it's just an iconic and OG wonder weapon to you so if I had to pick one between them it's between the Soliquifier and Thunder Gun and I think I have to go for the Thunder Gun but there are still loads of other wonder weapons that are really good obviously that's the whole point of it. Just, just just, don't mention the jet gun. That's definitely not good. The next question says, and this one had a lot of likes, why in Kino does it say beware of the six? Please answer, I love your vids. So this is a very old Easter egg that we have in Kino de Toten. Obviously this map has been out since I think like 2010, but even now there's still a couple of ways that you could look at this Easter egg. It's never been confirmed on what it actually means. There's a lot of theories about it, but in my opinion, there are two ways of looking at it and there are two answers to this question. So what does this writing on the wall in Kino, Beware of the Six, actually mean? Now, some people think it refers to the Nova Six Crawlers, and other people think that it refers to the Hellhounds, or Samantha's dog, Fluffy. So let me explain either sides. So the reason why Beware of the Six could be related to the Hellhounds is because, obviously, in Kino, the Hellhounds are a boss round, and they come around every six 
rounds. So every six rounds, beware of the six, you get the link there. But that's not the only thing. If you actually listen to a radio that you could hear in Doris, I'm going to play it in just a second. Test number six is actually to do with Fluffy, Samantha's dog. Maxis did all sorts of experiments in the giant facility. There were previous tests, test one, two, three, but test number six was an experiment on Fluffy. Where we know Richthoff and Maxis locked the dog inside of the teleporter, she got teleported away and when she returned, she returned as the Hellhound. So that is the first reason why a lot of people think that Beware of the Six relates to the Hellhounds. Not only because they come every six rounds, but also because test number six was the experiment that created them. Initiating test number six. Subject is within test chamber. Activate power. <laughs> Edward, did you set up the device correctly? Yes, Doctor. As per your specifications. If you had done it to my specifications, then it would have worked, wouldn't it? As usual, your incompetence has... What? Do you hear that, Doctor? Quiet, you fool! Test number six is a failure, but the experiment has caused some kind of electrical force energized within the chamber. Well, open the door! Doctor, I don't think... Open the door! Now! Daddy, what are you doing with Fluffy? Damn it, Samantha! I told you never to come in here! Edward, get her out of here! Yes, Doctor. What's wrong with her? Daddy, what did you do? Fluffy! Come back here, Samantha! Stop her! You see... Come here, Samantha. Good girl, Flossy. Gently, Samantha. That's not Flossy anymore. We must get out of here. What? Edward, what are you doing? Open the door! Edward, open this door now! I'm scared. Stop you. Stay by me, Samantha. Goodbye. Dr. Maxis. <laughs> But then, of course, Beware of the Six could also be linked to the Nova Six. Kine del Totem was the first time we saw this new type of enemy boss in zombies. It was the Nova Six Crawlers, and these zombie-type creatures, upon death, release a toxic gas known as Nova Six. So this message could be telling us to beware of them because these things are deadly. If you stand in their gas for too long, well, you will die. And of course, if Group Nathy Five are experimenting on these things here at this facility because of how deadly they are and also this gas that they produce, I'm guessing a lot of people would be scared of them. And so you can see someone wrote on the wall here, beware of the six. That seems to make more sense. I can't really see a reason why someone would write on the wall, beware of the six because of the dogs. More than likely, it was a Group 935 employee that wrote this on the wall, warning people about the Nova 6 crawlers. But of course, like I said, it's not confirmed. We don't really know. That just seems to be the best guess. So more than likely, that is what it means. It was a warning to everyone about the crawlers. The next question from Sammy says, in the giant, they're making a giant robot, but in Origins, they already have giants. So does that mean that they are making more or are they making the giants in Origins? Love your video. That, that is very confusing. I don't exactly know what you're trying to ask. To put it in simple terms, I just believe you're asking me, why are they building a giant in Doris when they had ones in Origins? Well, the robot that we see in the background of the map, the giant, wasn't actually built there. Because the giant is in a fractured universe, it is in the Decepto fracture, meaning deception, a lot of things that we see in this map aren't supposed to be here. Because of the fracturing of the universes, the colliding of the timelines, the whole storyline is basically messed up. Things are where they aren't supposed to be, hence why we see the mob of the dead plane and the giant. It's not supposed to be there. It's the same with this robot. The robots weren't really built in the giant. They were built in Origins. But because of the universes colliding, things have merged through. And so this giant robot has merged from the Origins universe to the Doris universe. It's not supposed to be here, but for that reason it is. So anyway guys, there we go. That is all I have for you for today's video. As always, hopefully you have enjoyed this one. If you have, you know what to do by now. Drop a like rating. Could we shoot for the massive goal of just three like ratings on this video? If we could do that, I would be very grateful 
for that. Make sure you are also subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies content. Pretty much zombies videos every other day. I would, I wish they could be every day, but until Black Ops 4, they can't. Make sure you leave your comments, theories, ideas, any questions you have down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.